Norman Mao is unwed and a virgin, which is why, on the eve of his 33rd birthday, his parents took him on a whirlwind tour of the world to find him a worthy wife. Being the sole heir of his parents' multi-million dollar Hong Kong Q-tip fortune, the Maos desperately sought the assistance of professionals to guarantee quality candidates for Norman's hand in marriage. Winnie Wong used the latest technology and the most ancient astrological techniques to find Norman a bride in New York's tri-state area. And after much calculation and consideration, Winnie presents them with three ideal matches. Mrs. Mao prays to their ancestors to bring Norman a good Chinese wife. Since New York City is the last stop on their trip, these three dates are their last hope. Norman Mao works for his father's company that customizes personal hygiene products for trade shows. But Norman is left with few responsibilities, so he just plays video games all day in his office. In fact, Norman Mao has been so sheltered in his life that he was breastfed until he was five years old. His interactions with females have been limited to maids and internet chat rooms. On his first date, Norman was matched with Susie Fong, Miss Brooklyn Chinatown, 2004. Yeah. On his second date, Norman was matched with Angela Chin, whose father owns hot sauce factories in Vietnam. <laughs> On his final date, Norman was matched with Ling Ling Ng, a political refugee from Mongolia. And for their services, Master Matchmakers bills them handsomely. After the dates, Norman's parents threaten to disown him. They suspect that they've been cursed by an unhappy ancestor. Desperate for grandchildren, Mrs. Mao bribes the gods with chocolates and beer. Feeling like a complete loser, Norman goes down to the bar to have his first drink. While having a pink lady, he accidentally whispers, I'm all alone tonight. On the elevator up, Norman makes a miraculous decision. Norman decides he can't live in a loveless, hopeless world. So Norman Mao writes a letter. And Norman Mao opens a window. Norman 
feels peaceful above New York City. He climbs the fire escape, ready to jump, when he suddenly hears something. In that moment, Norman Mao discovers that he isn't alone in the world. And they both realize that they just saved each other's lives. Bye.